culture. In this lesson, we're gonna talk about the importance of culture and some tips to learn culture. First and foremost, culture and language are inextricably linked. You can't learn one without the other. They're tightly bound together and you're not gonna be able to effectively communicate without knowledge and understanding of culture. And it's not just simply understanding how words are used. It's important to understand how things are done in the target language. For example, in a lot of Asian countries, if you get someone's business card, you don't want to put it in your wallet because then you'd be sitting on it and that would be an insult to them. Or asking someone's age. In Korea, everyone is born already almost a year old. When the new year comes, you have a birthday. So that means someone born in November of a year by February are being told that they're age two. It's just different. Values and approaches to communication are different between cultures. In learning Spanish, a lot of Americans may be uncomfortable with kissing on the cheeks where your new Spanish friend might be insulted that you wouldn't do that or give them a hug. In learning culture, culture is the best way to learn a language. And you want to get authentic input. Read about the country's history, art, religion. I love going to Google News and changing my settings to help me find out what's going on in their newspapers, where museums around the world are presenting their history. You'll get lots of authentic content from journalists and writers that way, and it's completely for free. And they'll probably turn you on to books that you can read and magazines. Yabla is another great resource for this. In their different language packages, they travel all over the target language countries and talk to people. They provide you with movies and television and commercials and news. You're getting right in there with that real culture. Talking to native speakers of the target language country will give you insights to the culture. They'll tell you how things are done there. Again, go on italki. They're going to teach you all about the country and it's going to give you so much insight to the culture, what's appropriate and what isn't. They'll tell you what to say, what not to say. And think about the similarities and the difference between two cultures. We're all more alike than different. We're all human. We want to be accepted. We just need to learn a few rules sometimes to, to figure out how to do that. And please don't stereotype or overgeneralize. Just because we're from a country doesn't mean that we're all the same. We're all humans and individuals and unique. So in summary, learning a language is more than just learning a bunch of words. It's also about learning about the people who use that language. Again, to dive deeper into this, go into the text. I've also given a summary resource guide that has links to lots of different resources. The resource guide is on the blog, which I'll link to, and they're different by languages. So there'll be lots of links to authentic materials and some of the materials that I'm referencing. And they're online so that they can be updated really regularly. Uh, and we'll see you in the next lesson.